Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hello. You hungry? You hungry? Yeah. Yes. Yes. You hungry? You're so cute. <laughs> so we're at the dealership um dodge <clears throat> dealership in um pro city and we are car shopping today we was looking around because like i said i haven't decided what i wanted so my husband told me he really wanted the rt and i was like no i have to look at it first so it's either between that or the kia sorrento but we came to the dodge dealership first because i haven't seen the RT first yet. I saw the Sorrento, how the Sorrento looks. I don't know how no, the, the Dodge really Durango looks. Durango looks. So we are so here at the dealership now. The That's our sales lady, mm -mm. Mimi. <laughs> and she helped us out looking for a car. And then, oh my God, I fell in love with the RT, the Dodge Durango RT. So guess what? That's what I'm getting. <laughs> Happy Valentine's to mommy. <laughs> yeah. <babe. laughs> So I'm so excited. We just made the deal and now they're cleaning up the car, detailing it, and that's it. Thanks to baby. Babe, say hi to everyone. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I'll show you guys how the car looks because I'm just like in love. So we are done. Papers are signed. <gasps> Thanks to the hubby. Got me a new car. So excited. So it's all detailed, ready to rock and roll. So we're going outside to go check her out. Wait, is this the car? It's the car right there. Oh, how, what? Oh my God. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Babe, oh my God. Oh my God, she's a beauty. Black on black. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So I got the 2015 Dodge Durango. R T all around. Oh my god! I'll show you guys when I get home, like how it looks inside and stuff like that. But right now, I'm fucking excited, like so excited. Guys, so it is February 10th, and this is makes one year since my auntie Eva passed away. Again, if you guys haven't, you know, if you guys know her, she was our core to our family. So. Um, she passed away from cancer and last year was just one of the hardest times of my life so it was definitely um, something that you know it was hard for our family to get over I just cannot believe it's fucking one year like one year since she's been gone you know it's crazy it really is but we're here I got we got the balloons and we're gonna release it for her So yes, it's been one year. Oh my God, I can't even believe it. It's been one year. We got the whole fam here. Messages to Auntie. I wrote, love you always, Auntie. And then my mom, my sister Eva, I miss you. Jenny. Family is here, writing our messages to Auntie's one year mark. And this is from Mama Bug. Love and miss you, my sister. Love mama bug. Daniel. So this is my grandma's grave, which is her mother, my mom's sister, whom I've never met in my life. But I feel like she's there next to me all the time. What did you tell to Eva? Thank you. Thank you. Say I love you and I miss you. I love you and I miss you. Aww. 
Right. I know, Daniel. Go ahead. Yeah. Bar heads. Amen. One, two, three. We love and miss you at Diva. I see mines. Bro, my dad has the most right in. Oh. I like how it's just like grouped right there, yeah. That's crazy. That one. Who's the back one? I love you, Auntie, and we miss you so much. <sighs> Things are not the same. Hopefully one day it will be. Good morning. It's um, February 12th and we are at Nizik's um, school. There is Super Citizen Day and he is a super citizen for his class. Yay! I'm so proud of him. Almost every year he's been a super citizen. So I'm like so proud of you, Nizik. You're unloading. And Daddy's off today. Yay! And the Fecto boy in there. Hey! Hey! You ready to go see Brada? You ready to go see Brada? A little more comfortable. So everyone is setting up. And the parents are gonna come. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe this is the um, school that I went to when I was his age. I came at like fourth, I guess, no, fourth grade. I went home at like kindergarten and stuff. Hey! 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 Your brother is super citizen, honey. Your brother is super citizen, mommy. Mrs. Aluli's class, Scout Schofield and Elijah Nihipali. For Miss Kelly Ikuli's class, Giovanni Sui and Shayan Tausoga. <laughs> Please give a round of applause for our fifth graders. Woo! Oh, perfect, yeah. There you go. Getting laid, bruh. Sorry, I, I had to go that route. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Now let's go by daddy and take a picture of my daddy, okay? Hi, baby! Look, nice! <laughs> Thank you, Kahi. Nice! Go by daddy to take a picture. Let's go by daddy. Wait. So I'm at the doctor's um, because I found like a lump behind my ear. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a it's like a hard lump. I don't have it on this side. I was like at home, like kind of just playing with my ears yesterday. And I felt the lump. I was like, what the fuck? So I need an appointment today and to see if I can get it checked out. So that's where I am, just waiting to see what the hell it is. It's, it just scared me. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I just got done with my appointment, my doctor's. And the doctor said it's nothing bad or, you know, cancerous, stuff like that. Basically, I have a swollen lymphoid or something like that. I don't know how to say it. Something like that. Um, so I guess I've, my, my glands are swollen. That's what um, is what is what I have. I guess because he can move it a little bit left and right. So I was like, that is so weird. But yeah, so thank God because I was a little nervous as to like what it was. So he put me on antibiotics. I'm taking like amoxic uh, penicillin or amoxicillin, one of them. <sighs> now it's time for dinner. We came to eat at this place called 
Camellia Buffet. This is our first time trying it out, so let's go check it out. Hurry up, Ohana, let's go. Yeah, how do we pay the Oi. Oh, you gonna cook some meat? They're gonna turn it on, you gotta cook it. Over here, I think you're over here. Or is you over there? Yeah, yeah. Why are you sad right now? Hey, why do you have such a sad face? Nice. What's the whole point of coming over here then? If you wanted to sleep, I could have left you home. What? If you wanted to sleep, I could have left you home. Then why didn't you say something? Why didn't you say something? I said if you want to go home, or set yourself, or come with us. That's the only option. Nobody is home, yeah? Nobody is home to watch you, Isaac. But you wanted to come. So stop complaining. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What? Stop complaining. No. Don't want to hear it. What? Don't want to hear it. What? But you're nuts. So Hub is cooking up the so you basically come here, pick out your meats over there, and then cook it. We're gonna start there. 